All right, welcome back to the channel. Max Torno here. In this video, I want to talk about how to start your very first business, even if you don't know what it is that you could be offering, even though you might feel a little lost. So if you like the idea of being your own boss, you like the idea of being free, you like the idea of probably generating higher income than any job that you could have, then yeah, this video is for you. Let's get started. Have you ever wondered whether there's more to life than a meaningless dead-end nine-to-five job? Have you ever dreamed about breaking free, you know, traveling the world, making good money while not having to worry that you could get fired? My name is Max Torno and I've attained that freedom and I've attained that security. No more office dress code, no morning commute, no boss. This channel is for you, so here's to your freedom. All right, so we're in this like little relaxed location here in the Austrian Alps today. Um, I get this over and over again, predominantly on Instagram, when people message me on the DMs or I reach out to them and I say, you know, do you like to build a freedom business? They always all say yes. And I say, well, why haven't you done it yet? And they often say, unsure about my skill or have no skill or don't know how to start don't know where to start and so on and so forth so this this literally is i dedicate this video to all of you out there that are that are feeling a little lost and feel a little bit confused and all i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna show you different kind of of excuses and different kind of issues that you might encounter when you're building your very first business and i'll show you how to react to those correctly first and foremost skill level skill level is i think a big problem for a lot of people um, and this is probably amplified through show, social media nowadays that you know you might be kind of good at something you might be kind of good at fitness or you might be a very social guy maybe you found your dream partner maybe you're good at programming but there's someone else out there that is much better than you at that right and social media amplifies that you might be in pretty good shape and you could definitely help someone get in better shape but you're not as good as eight pack johnny all right or, or booty jenny if you're a girl watching this so you instantly kind of get pushed back into your little box like how dare you think you're gonna be an expert at that because so and so is already better at that so but out of you know help, having helped over a thousand clients build the very first business um it doesn't matter. You don't need to be the best. Who, who said you need to be the best? Am I the best at shooting videos? No. In fact, I messed up the first time. I, I mispronounced, I missaid the intro, you know. Uh, you don't need to be the best. You don't even need to be the 100th best. You can be the 500th best fitness coach in the world and you're still going to be very good and deliver amazing results to your clients. Right? What we always say is you need to be two to three steps ahead of the average person. Does that mean you should stay there? No. Do I mean sell to people even though you barely know anything? No. But it's enough to get the foot in the door for you and to start coaching, right? If I think back at my very first business, the dating advice business, was I Mr. Casanova, you know, type of dating coach? No. But was I better than the average person at it? Yes. So what did I start doing? I started getting test clients. And that's what you should do as well. Test clients are so underrated. Get some free test clients if you want. Get some for a couple hundred bucks, all right? Just to get you the foot in the door because how the hell are you going to be good at something if you never do it, right? So, go get the foot in the door. If you're two or three steps ahead of the average person, get a couple test clients. You're gonna bet, get, get more self-confidence from that. Uh, you're gonna maybe even make some money already, already from that and you're really helping someone and you get more experience in that, and you're honing your craft. It just has advantages. There's no disadvantages in there. I feel like a lot of people out there, they wanna get all the, all the pieces of the puzzle perfectly right before they start. They're like, okay, first I need to have 10 out of 10 expertise, then I need to build a website and then I need to build a funnel and it's, when it's all there, I'm gonna press go and then the floodgates open and the money is just going to come in. That's not how business works. Business is a lot of trial and error. Business is a lot of get clients first, get experience with it, mess up, fix it, and so on and so forth. I mean, you don't need to make, you don't need to get a, a, a website or a funnel if you want to make 10,000 a month. You don't. Go watch all the client interviews on my channel. None of these people, unless the advanced clients, but none of the beginner clients that have cracked 10K a month have a website or have had a big channel or anything. It's unnecessary to have these things, right? So that's in terms of expertise. The other thing is in terms of clarity, like what should I coach, 
right? Maybe you're not 100% sure about your expertise. Well, uh, a couple way pointers here. Um, you can either go down the strength route where you say, this is a strength that I have. Again, I'm two to three steps ahead of the average person. Or you just go down the route of what's the most lucrative. Uh, it really is like that. We have a bunch of beginner clients who came to us who said, don't have any skill. How can you guys help me? And we basically showed them the market. We showed them what's possible. And then they just acquired a very, very high paid skill. For example, you know, copywriting, uh, for example, uh, web development, a website building, um, a social media management, social media setup, and so on and so forth. And they just learned that over the course of a couple of weeks, again, until they've one to two steps ahead of the average person, got some test clients, maybe for free, maybe for a lower price, learned alongside that, started charging higher prices, got better and better at that without having to go through some university course for months. No, they literally just did it, got paid, had real life experience in that, got really, really good at that, and now they're making ten, twenty thousand dollars a month. We haven't even fully scaled them yet. This could be another route because this whole idea of like, oh, I do something that you're passionate about, it's an option. Cool. You know, for me, it was definitely passion for my very first business. It was definitely passion for my second business. I love talking about this. I talk about this all the time. I mean, I ask all my friends, all I talk about is business or marketing and, or, you know, anything revolving around that. But it doesn't need to be, you know? Do you think the, the Facebook ads guy is passionate about the algorithm? Maybe there's some nerds out there, but a lot of them are just, are just like, yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, I like it. Makes me a ton of money, right? A lot of times passion comes with results. Nobody, nobody feels, it's very rare that people feel passion for something that they get zero results in, you know? So you might be sitting here and you say, oh, I'm cynical, I don't have a lot of passion for anything. Yeah, of course not. You're not getting any results in anything. Passion oftentimes comes with results. So if you're not a particularly passionate person, don't let that discourage you, all right? Put that on the back burner. Focus on things that actually generate high levels of income. A passion will come when you're making some, you know, some, when you're generating some relatively high income, right? By the way, if you haven't done so yet, go ahead and give me a follow on my Instagram account. If you haven't done so yet, you probably have your hand, your phone in your hand right now. I'm posting on there every single day on the stories. I'm posting on there almost every single day on the feed. I reply to all DMs. Definitely strongly recommend you checking it out. Also, check out our other Instagram account, the Freedom Business Mentoring Instagram account. On there, we share the experiences that our clients have. We share some value nuggets on business almost every single day. So, highly recommend you give a follow on both of these accounts. Like so you probably have your phone in your hand right now anyways. Um, the other thing in terms of business is forget about the business idea, all right? Everybody's like, oh, I have to have the revolutionizing idea. And it helps if you revolutionize the market like Elon Musk or whatever, but it's not necessary. Focus on things that work. Hell, I love it when people say, oh, but so-and-so market is already saturated. And I'm like looking at our clients that are in that oversaturated market and they're making 10, 20K a month. Or even if they're more beginners, they're making 5K a month. And I'm like, who cares? The market is oversaturated. Like, it's actually a good sign if the market is oversaturated. Because that means there's already people in it making money. There's already people paying in that. So we'll hop in there. Like, focus on something that has already been well established. Toward something that people toward or are actually open towards already. Right? That is really the key. That is really the key. Focus on things that already work right? And you don't need to be the best at that. You don't need to be the most popular at that. You can be the thousands most popular or 10,000. You're still going to be able to make a decent living, you know? And then, and then if you want to revolutionize things, we can always talk about that later, but get the basics right first, start getting paid and start delivering, uh, um, deliver results to your clients. That's really what counts first. And I think the last point here is a little bit of a mindset thing is consistency, right? I often make it sound very easy building a first business because it's really hell of easy for me because I've done it over and over again with my clients. But for you, it probably isn't unless you're consistent at it and you're doing it smart, right? Like a lot of people say, yeah, I've tried and failed for two weeks. Yeah, but whatever. You can't lose 20 pounds in two weeks either. You know, like if you really want change, it's going to take a while. You can't just build up a big biceps after two weeks either. They, these things work with consistency. But don't just say like, oh, it's about the amount of time I'm putting in. No, it's also about how smart you are about things. Do you have a mentor who explains you where the pitfalls are and where you need to go? Do you have someone that shows you the proven path that you just have to follow? That's good, but it's not enough. You still have to stay on that path consistently and execute. All right. So last but not least, to really summarize, I think building a business is much less complicated than you think. 
And uh, I hope I could really share some clarity here with you, just shed some, 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 some clarification on, on, on certain issues that a lot of people have out there. And ultimately, the last thing you have to do is you have to take the first step. The first step is always the hardest. You have to make the decision of saying, okay, let's go, right? And that doesn't even need to be all in. Don't burn the boats and quit your job. We, we always encourage our clients to never quit their job until they're making more money at their own business consistently for, a month, for, for around three months straight than their job, right? So if you currently have a job and you say, like, oh, I need to be 100% focused on it. No, you don't. A couple hours a week is already fine, but you gotta be consistent and you gotta do that first step. And a great way to do that first step is by booking a free consulting call with us right now. There's a link down in the description below or a link that appears right here, there's somewhere here right now. And you click on that link and it brings you to a page. You fill out the application on the page and then you can book the exact date and time for that free consulting call. In that call, we're gonna be looking at your situation, we're gonna be looking at your goals and we will help you bridge where you are right now and where you want to go. We can tell you the exact steps you need to take specifically in your situation in order to start your very first business, all right? It doesn't matter if you're confused and you don't know what to offer, we can help you on that call. If you kind of already know what to offer, maybe you're already making some money but you want to do it more legitimate, right? A little bit more long lasting, that call is also for you. So. You'll be speaking to a real person, right? It's not an automated bot funnel whatsoever. And if you, of course, also want to become our client, we can talk about that on the call, but the call itself is entirely for free. I want to thank you very much for watching. Uh, book that call right now, and I'll talk to you very, very soon. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. So if you are thinking about doing the Freedom Business Mentoring Coaching Program, do it. It is amazing, seriously. So right now, I've been working with them for a few months. I've already generated about 12K and have more abundance coming back in. I wanted to be my own boss, but I didn't know how. And so with FBM, they obviously, they gave me the path. They told me exactly what I needed to do. Help me do it with confidence every single step of the way. I'm excited. I'm excited that I have my own business and that it's only looking bright in the future.